All right, guys, so here's what we got going today. Here's my uh, little trailer. It's like a five by eight or five by 10, something like that. <clears throat> I've had it for a long time. I bought it used. There's no telling how old it is. Uh, it's been a really good trailer. It's done everything I've wanted to do. Um, got new tires, new wheels on it. I redid the tail lights. It's, uh, that's actually a Unistrut right there, a little tail light mount. Got a little cover for it. Put chains on there. I've done a few other things, but today what I'm going to work on is putting these little clearance lights on the corner down here, so um, so it can have clearance lights on the front corner. Because right now it doesn't have any right there or up here. And um, a you're supposed to have clearance lights from like DOT or whatever. And B it helps like when you're backing up at night. Uh, it just helps to be able to see the front of that trailer compared to the back so you can tell like what angle it's going at my big trailer over there the uh, 20 foot it has clearance lights all over it and it makes it a lot easier just knowing what angle your trailer is when you can see the front corner and the back corner so yeah that's what we're going to work on today okay. all right so what i think i'm going to do for mounting this is i've got this old piece of uh, angle iron left over from another project on the other trailer i think i'm probably going to mount it cut it out of 45 and tuck it behind this other piece kind of like that and then mount the light right there kind of at a 45 degree angle and it's actually sit back about like that kind of at an angle just like that that way i can see it from the front and you can see it from the side because these these little lights they came with the tail lights i know i could buy probably buy other better led lights but like i said these came with the uh, tail lights so i'm going to use these and I think I can just cut this little angle iron and just put a few little welds on it right there and then mount that and I think that'll look pretty good. All right, so I got that welded up. It's not too bad. Still gotta get all the little slag and the dust and all cleaned off of it, but that's it right there. It's just kind of welded across the top and it's pretty sturdy. I don't think I'm gonna need to weld it anywhere else. It'd be kind of hard to get in there and weld that tight gap. I could maybe go up under it and try to do something, but I don't really think it's worth it because it's just holding a little marker light on. But anyway, Once I get that thing put all the way in, it'll sit just about like that. I think that's going to turn out pretty good. It looks pretty slick, pretty clean. All I got to do is paint it and uh, it'll be ready. So I got these things all painted up. I think that's just dust or something. They're all painted. Looks pretty good. Got all this painted back black, primed up and everything. And uh, while I was out here, I decided to take some of this angle iron and weld it up right here. Because um, I didn't really have a place to mount or to hook tie downs to, like straps. And I always seem to be hooking it up under that angle iron right there. And so I figured I needed something here and I always use that angle iron. So I figured another piece of angle iron here would work perfect. And I had some left over. Um, from all this stuff, all these other little projects. So I just cut a little piece and welded it right in the middle there. And so I can hook uh, bungee cords, ratchet straps, whatever. And this is big enough for my, even my two inch ratchet straps can hook into there. So I've got one here and I'm about to weld another one on the other side. So I'm gonna do that and get it that painted. And uh, yeah. All right, so I got all these, I got the lights put on I started kind of like splicing some wire in to connect to the uh, the existing wiring on the trailer. You can kind of see there. This I've already replaced. 
kind of put that on there, a little easy pull extension type thing. But anyway, what I decided to do was just buy a whole bunch of extra, a whole bunch of wire, some good connectors like heat shrinks, whatever, crimp connectors, and this seven pin box right here. The seven pin uh, trailer box or seven gang, whatever you call it. It's got these little grommets it comes with. Like these slide out and you can slide the little ones with a hole in there. It's got seven posts for a seven pin. I couldn't find a four, but um, it might work out better. Uh, because if I wanted to add like reverse lights, I've got extra spots to add them. So what I'm gonna do is uh, mount that box like somewhere on one of these frame rails. Maybe the outside or maybe like in the front right there might be a good spot for it i'm not sure somewhere up here and then <clears throat> i can connect my four pin right into it i can run new wires all the way up home run all the way from here you know to the back all the way up to the front everything got its own little wire and everything will connect on these little posts right here so i'm gonna get working on that and uh, i'll let y'all know what it looks like All right, so I'm done with the wiring on the trailer. And I left this open so you kind of see, this is the uh, connector that came, it's actually the extension I run through here, put some shrink wrap on it and inside of here somewhere I've spliced it to um, some existing wires for this. I heat shrinked it, clamped it in there. Ooh, I actually need to, put a, I need to put a clamp right there before I put the lid back on. But you got your ground, uh, that's the two grounds. One of them runs over here to that bolt. It's all behind there, it's a white wire right right there. Uh, so you got white, you got all the reds. I didn't have brown wire, so I used red. Um, I know that's not ideal, but I know the difference. That one's brown. So that's for all the like tail lights and marker lights, stuff like that. So I got two tail lights, two marker lights. Yellow is for one side of the trailer. I can't remember which, left or right. And green is for the other like turn signal. So that's left and right turn signals. Um, I got a little bit of extra slack right here in case that something happens. I need to re-terminate it, whatever. Um, yeah, they come in here, more shrink wrap, more flex with that split loom or whatever. So it runs all up under there. And then it kind of breaks off like that. I didn't put a uh, split loom under there because it's all hidden anyway. But I just put it up here and on this side, so that way it looks good. Um, you know, once I get the cover on, I'll show you what that looks like. But I've got a nice long uh, four pin. It's got the little easy pull right there, so that's pretty good. Um, a lot of these that you buy from the store, like 12 inches or some crap, and you know, that's it's never gonna reach the truck. Which my truck's right there, I don't have it connected. But um, I got plenty of length. You know, that's about how long the chain sticks out, so you know. That should work out pretty good. I've got some other things that I've done to the trailer, um, but that'll probably be another video. Here it is with the cover on it. Sorry, shadow. There it is with the cover. It's nice and uh, sealed up. I put that other clamp on that side, but yeah, it just looks real nice. All this is kind of tucked in, hidden. You know, it sticks out just a little bit, but I like it. It's probably a little overkill for a little five by eight utility trailer that's kind of old but i wanted to get the wiring redone well i guess these right here were the original reason i started all this and um as i got going i just wanted to do everything right so it turned into that so these wires they come in from up under here i've got wire loom right through here and it goes all the way up it's kind of tucked in behind these boards but if I move the boards, they'll still be pretty clean looking. And then it just comes up right here. It's not the best, but this trailer is made out of nothing but angle iron. So there's no closed in, uh, I guess, pipes or square tubing. So I just run, I got a zip tie to keep the cable from pulling back out. It just runs all the way through here, tied up to here. And, you know, all the connections. This, I'm not a huge fan of, but um, I guess that's how it's going to be. 
these are um, something I made. I might do something in another video to talk about them. But it's just Unistrut, and I've welded up here, and mounted here, and all this stuff, and made a little protector for the light. Because they were mounted like back there, just on a piece of flat. And um, I didn't like them being that low because they always got dirty, like when it rains in my backyard and stuff. Um, so I moved them up here. But yeah, that's it. Uh, got those all wired up. Got the front markers wired. Got the new box put in.